Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to turn a regular old photo into a seamless, tileable texture in Photoshop, which you can then use in a whole bunch of different ways, including as a Photoshop pattern. You can download the project files for this tutorial to see how everything was put together, and have files to work from if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. So here's the image that we're going to turn from a regular texture into a seamless pattern. And the first thing that you'll want to do is find the center point of this image. So I'm going to double click the background layer to unlock it. And then I'm going to drag guides from my rulers to the center of my image and they're going to snap into place since I unlock that background. If your rulers aren't showing you can press Ctrl R to hide or show them. Next we're going to go to Filter, Other, Offset. And we want to set the horizontal and vertical dimensions to half the size of our original document. So since our texture is 1920 by 1080, we're going to make that 960 by 540. Now you'll see that it's shifted our image down and to the right. So this corner right here used to be our top left corner. So what I want to do is set the undefined areas to wrap around and that will make anything that sticks off the right side of the canvas show up over here on the left and anything that sticks off at the bottom show up at the top. So now this area right here used to be our bottom right corner and this area right here used to be our bottom left corner. It might be a little confusing but once you finish this tutorial you should understand how it works. Now I'm just going to hit OK. Now I'm going to press Control semicolon to hide my guides and you'll see seams where the edges of this texture touches the other sides and that's what we want to get rid of. Now the old way to do this would just be using the clone stamp tool and manually getting rid of those but that takes quite a while. Another way to do it would be using the spot healing brush tool, but a lot of times that'll leave things looking a lot more smooth than you want them to for certain textures. So for this image, we're going to use the patch tool, which you can find in the toolbar underneath the spot healing brush tool. Now the patch tool is also a content aware fill tool, just like the spot healing brush tool, but it allows us to choose the area that we want to sample from when we replace our selection. So what I'm going to do is come over and create a new layer. And I want to make sure that I have sample all layers checked up at the top. Now what I'm going to do is create a little jagged selection around just a small portion of my texture covering one of the seams. Then I'm going to click and drag to sample from another area of my texture. And when I let go, Photoshop will automatically replace that seam with the area that I just sampled from. So if I press Ctrl D to deselect that, you'll see that now where the seam used to be, there's wrinkles and paper texture. So I'm going to repeat this process, making small to medium selections with little jagged edges and sampling from other parts of my image. One thing to keep in mind is to not sample from anywhere on the image that's too conspicuous because then you'll have two areas that look exactly the same and that kind of kills the effect. Now I've gotten rid of my vertical seam, so I'm going to repeat the process to get rid of the horizontal seam. So once we've gotten rid of all of our seams, you're going to want to right click in the layers palette and flatten your image. Now we'll go back up to filter, other, offset, and offset it again using the same dimensions that we did before. And what that's going to do is move our texture back into the original position that we started with. Now I'm going to turn my guides back on using control semicolon for reference, and I'm going to zoom in at the top of my document where the guide touches the edge. Then I'm going to turn my guides off again using control semicolon so I can see the document. Now we need to get rid of these small seams that we created when we patched the rest of the image. So again, I'm just going to make a small selection and sample just from a nearby area to get rid of those. And again, I'm going to zoom out and turn my guides on and then zoom in to other areas of my image to get rid of those seams too. And that's pretty much it. So now what I'm going to do is select my entire document and copy it. And I'm going to create a new image. And then I'm going to resize this to twice the size of our original image. And zoom out a little bit. And then I'll paste our finished texture in and line them up so you can see that now there's no more seams. Now most textures are going to have areas that stick out more than others. So you'll have to go back and clone those out too. But removing seams is pretty easy and you can do all kinds of things with these seamless textures, like turning them into Photoshop patterns. So if I close this document and go back to our finished texture, 
All I have to do is come over here and hit edit, define pattern, and give it a name and hit OK. And then I'll create one more new document. And if I unlock this background layer and double click to open the layer style dialog, I'm going to apply a pattern overlay and you'll see that the pattern we just created is now in our patterns list. Now I can move it around and resize it and you won't see any seams in your document. I'm John Shaver for Design Panoply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.